Hey everybody, welcome back. Is this, it's the luckiest day I've ever seen in Super Auto Pets. Do I really have a first shop consisting of two, two, three ducks? I'll be a flabbergasted fork. Just call me a flabbergasted fork the way I've got two, two, three units on my early squad for the first time in, in Earth's long history. Now we still, we get a draw. That's okay. I think they had a great mosquito snipe there, and I'm not going to run the math, but I feel like there was a great mosquito sniping that took place. Our duck will level up. Here's, I think we should set it up like this. So there is a 50% chance that the ant hits the duck, and then the silk moth is guaranteed to buff the duck, which is then most likely to survive an attack and possibly survive two as a result of the silk moth. Great shot! Now their unit buffed the Silk Moth, which maybe makes a difference. Okay, there we go. I'm actually, I'm liking our start here, but don't get attached to it too much yet. We, we take our level. Not what I'm looking for. I mean, one of these, add this on top. Freeze me. Honestly, I think the whole strat right now is about the duck having enough HP that the Silk Moth gets value for buffing it. I don't know if it'll actually come to pass. But they, the, the strategy made sense for me in the moment. Okay, if you want to make God laugh, tell him your plans. That's the most important thing for you to note uh, right now. <laughs> that was miserable. Um, sure, level me. I think a sheep could go a little crazy here. This is the squad. You take a flying fish, you add a sheep like right here. You get ready to pill your ant, and I think you probably say that I'm okay with a, a stilt as well. The stilt enables a few things. And now we could start building this, this early flying fish summon build and hopefully become a true scumbag. That's, that's my main goal in life right now to reach scumbag core. Now, I think we're just gonna draw, but that's okay for our pivot round, I hope. I hope. Blobfish exists now, too. But huge, insane value. So we gotta figure out what we're doing. I think what I would like to do is sell a... I'm thinking. Experience is really valuable. The moth is not doing enough for us. Sell the moth first, buy the blobfish, pill it for EXP. And stats. And stats. Put another one down here. I don't think we're going big duck. I think we're selling the duck at some point. It didn't happen straight away, and that's straight okay. I'm simply going to purchase an apple. And the sheep is not going anywhere. The flying fish and the sheep are joined at the hip for this build. So it, it might not be a huge amount of value, but it's something. It's something that we know is going to stick around. And th this flying fish hitting... So close. Hitting level two, like for real, will change the, the timbre of the build. It should at least. I think that we, we just need the space. So I'm going to sell you. I'm going to buy... I'm going to I'm gonna place you. I'm going to buy you. I'm going to sell you. And to be quite frank with you, the toad has been kind of amazing for us, just in general. And another flying fish. That's the, 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 all we needed from the shop, and that's all we got. Okay, place this down here. We could actually just get a blobfish to level two and then pill it later and get a higher tier unit to level two faster. I'm not calling this one yet. I don't, I don't think we're toasted. Being able to weaken strong enemies is, is going to matter a lot. And then this is, it, it's changing the game for us. Hopefully. Hopefully. It changed the game to a draw. That's something. It, from a loss to a draw, that's as much value as getting from a, a draw to a win. Go ahead. I think you just stab me here and then see what you get on the next roll. And they gave me even more salads, so honestly, you stab me. It's not what I'm looking for. We could have run Parrot behind the sheep as well, but here's the thing. I suppose we still could. 
Cherries, huh? Cherries. Just think. I'm like, every time I see something in the game that beats me, I'm like, so that's the secret this week. I see your game. Cherries on everybody, huh? Then the next game, I'm like, all right, I know the strat this week. It's cherries on everybody. Then I put cherries on everybody and I lose and I go, I must be doing something wrong. The real strat is big hippo. And you just sort of rinse and repeat that for life, I suppose. So even though you have good stats, you should be pilled. But just don't hit the blobfish. It is, it is what it is. Either way, let's throw a whale in here. I'm not buying any freaking Merlot, and I'm not buying any freaking broccoli. Garlic, on the other hand, I could be persuaded in the future. So we're skipping the hippo this time. It's just not part of, it's not our tempo, quite frankly. We're eating a blobfish. That's making our whale better. Then it's gonna spit out like a level two plus blobfish, which is gonna make our sheep better. Then we're going mano a mano with you. You're gonna spit out some incredible sheep. Okay, this strat, as of right now, it might not be perfect because we only have three wins on round nine, but it's doing something. And chocolate exists now. So forget a pill for the moment. Good. Uh, I think the time has come next round. We need the Spinosaurus out here. Maybe it's this round. Maybe you dump the toad and you run this, ooh, this crazy strat and then we pill you in front of you probably. Or in front of the flying fish. I don't know. We'll have to think. We need a pill to show up in the first place because this is like, it's, it's too good to just get rid of for nothing right now, but... You know what would really make this pop off is a, a clownfish. I do have some horrendous news for you. The clownfish is not in the pack this week, but <laughs> if it was, we could go to the moon right now. But we're actually winning rounds against decent teams. I'm not used to that. Okay. Definitely like wants, wants, wants. And now, at, the, at some point, we're going to get rid of you, but at least right now, you are creating a level three whale, which means a level three blobfish is going to be spat out, which can only serve to benefit us. Six twenty-seven porcupine. Hold on, am I chilling? I'm chilling, sort of. <laughs> sort of chilling. Okay, five wins with the meta build this week. PETA kind of goes crazy, huh? I'll give you a chance. And honestly, I'll give, I'll give you a chance too. And I mean, this is not necessarily the way we drew it up, okay? But the PETA is pretty cost effective, especially I think most units will not be one-shotting our tankiest units right now. Obviously, this entire squad is a cursed exception to that rule because we can never be allowed to have anything that is that is good and right. Can I get you? Can I get you? I can't quite get you. Can I get you? I can get you? Okay, thank you. Never mind, I'm done complaining because look at this. We just managed to beat a, a, a big hippo team. They even had a panda buffing it. Well, um, you should take this. I think you should take this. It's immediate value. Definitely a lioness. It makes sense. I just don't think it makes sense for me on this present build. But holy cow. I, I can't even crunch the numbers on this one. I'm trying to figure out like... Uh, what, what would I want a level three whale to spit out? You death touch piece of, you know, you freaking snipe me too, you piece of. It's okay, my level, no, oh, my, my Spinosaurus! <laughs> my whole squad, is this a joke to you? Okay, this is a strong team. I think we want this and then a pill. I'm sorry, little one. Holy cow. <laughs> um, okay, that's the next logical step. 
This is not necessarily logical, but it's what we got right now. We're wasting the pita on the sheep, but you know what else was wasting the pita on the sheep? Uh, apparently putting the pita on the sheep to begin with. This is unfortunate, but you know what? We're overriding your popcorn. No, we're not. We're just killing you in one shot anyway. Okay. And then there's a sheep. It's a large one. Am I crazy? This looks kind of amazing. The squad looks kind of goaded with it. Maybe two Spinosaurus is, 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 is uh, the new meta. This is obviously the way you go. I'll be honest with you. I kind of feel like... It, oh, the sheep gives us so many extra triggers, though. But I'm like, dude, what about... <laughs> the octopus getting crapped out as a level 3 octopus. And then also getting some nice buffs. I gotta try, okay? And it's just because... Like, we don't even need another octopus. Because, oh, it's not because it's not getting spat out as a level 3 right now. It is getting spat out as a level 2. But we don't need another octopus to make this work. What we need is uh, the whale to level up one time. I still think it might be worse than the sheep on this round. But this is what it's all about right here. Ooh, snipe me. Ted, do it again. Do it again. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, hold on. It's still, it's amazing. It's the scariest pivot I've ever done, and it went totally fine, and we're not even there yet. We want chocolate, please. Steak, not necessary. All of our units have good stats by the time they get there. Listen, there's a very limited amount of stuff that's actually like meaningfully good for us right now. I'll buy you. We can afford to take an L, unfortunately. Would it, would it kill you? To, okay, so maybe like another thing that would be good is a walrus. But I'm, I'm cooking, okay? Two snakes and a level two lioness? I don't like fighting good teams anymore. I've, re I've realized that. <laughs> Don't put, don't put me up against the good teams. Are you moving to the back? Is that your thing? It is your thing. But then I got you, and then you got me. Okay, fair enough. Then you summoned your own octopus. Hate that. Even though it was irrelevant in the whole scheme of things. You know what? Why don't you take this? Help our Spinosauruses out. Chocolate. 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 I hate you. I hate you. Little salad bowl. How about that? That could change everything. Eight wins is still a huge dub for me this week. Not in a vacuum, but like a huge dub for me in context this week. Okay, I didn't know you could make a sniping team work this week, so I gotta hand you some credit because you just ruined my life. So thank you for that. Biscuit sleep. I'll still take eight wins. It still feels good. Let's run another one back. A 2-3. Two, a 2-2. Two, two. You're making me sick. You're making me sick with this. Three units that could easily be killed by uh, a single mosquito. Let me, I'll be a fragile godfather because that's, that's what they are. But then they somehow had like an even worse team. I can't, and, and their name was Buff the Pig, so they completely deserved it. Okay, one of those, one of these, make the duck stronger. Make the mosquito stronger. And then, I'll be straight up with you. Sell pig, run second mosquito. Sell duck, run third mosquito. And then we got, the buffs are not going to the right mosquitoes anymore, but it's, it's okay, I think. Now, hit them. No kills? No, none kills? Is this a joke to you? It's hard to believe, honestly. All right. It's, it, we have five HP anyway, I'm not sweating it. We level. We did lose the last round, so this is an opportunity. I would say buy an apple. Don't worry too much about the long term. Worry about the now term. And the now term for me says that this is the, the way we gotta do it. And a six, eight mosquito it would be nice to have something like a like a silk moth backing it up, but the stats for a 6-8, that's pretty strong. I think we still lose. Man, you get such crazy value out of a flying fish. 
How did I not get 10 wins last time? We're just going to stack them up. Honestly, I think we just go heavy stats on you, and then we look for, like, a surgeon fish or something. I, and I do think that we can make a, a panda work. A, the panda into the hippo seems like a reliable sort of, like, pivot to, to plan for. Satan's Slurpee. Well, okay, it's another heavy loss. Hurts a great deal, quite frankly. So I do want the surgeon fish. I want like this, and then that would mean that you need a cherry. Okay, a level, nice for, for condensation purposes, and then garlic on our mosquito. I think we win this round. Not just because we're going to be playing against competition that's at our level, hopefully. I, I think that our, our surgeon fish to mosquito combo, it makes sense. An 11-22 unit goes crazy right now. So what can we do to make it even better? More cherries so the surgeon fish could add more HP. Might be worth something. Garlic might be worth something. Perhaps you've heard of it. Don't really need a parrot, I think. Parrot that copies a what is the, is the question. Because it screws up our order something fierce. I would roll. If we don't really get anything off the roll, I'll just put a surgeon fish at the back just to... It, it's our little safety deposit box. My whole squad? <laughs> Excuse me, Garcon? Where's my squad? I was promised a squad at some point. This squad has, has been stolen from me. How'd you snipe? Was it a... Oh, it was woodpecker, mosquito, pineapple? Is that what happened there? Don't really need you to level up. You go here now. Toad just seems like you can put it in any squad and be pleased. Real problem here, we don't have anything to make the hippo work. But can we afford not to try? Yes. I, I, I believe we can. I could be wrong. Now, the panda didn't get where I needed it to go. That's fine. We don't have any hurt triggers. Are we going to sell into, a, into another pill bug? I would say no. I'd say we'll roll, maybe talk about a blobfish. Maybe talk about you getting a level three. Maybe talk about pilling a blobfish in front of a surgeon fish next turn. I think this squad is beatable. That's going to hurt. <laughs> I'm uh, wrong for the record. Well, maybe it is beatable, but not beatable by me. Sell? I think we if this strat is going to work at all, we got to give it to you. You give us a lionfish. We got a little too much synergy happening there. It takes us to four? Five! Useless. Very nice, to be honest, but obviously, like, it's not doing what we needed to do right now, but that's okay. Next round is chocolate, so let's forget about the blobfish temporarily. Uh, I think this is going to be where it ends, quite frankly. Even though they're only four squatted, I, I wouldn't get it twisted. Never mind, I think we can make it on this one. I didn't, I didn't know that such a thing would be possible, but here we are. That's three wins. It's the saddest thing in the world that that's not, like, that embarrassing on this on this run. What about a seal for scaling? I'm literally just gonna say like, um, the, the reason I'm doing it is essentially just because we've never tried to do it before. I know from uh, experience, because this is like, the, I took a seal on the first run I ever did on this weekly on Twitch. There's not that many good seal foods. So we're kind of already starting behind the eight ball. That being said, okay, I see what you're trying to do there. That, that being said, any scaling might be enough to just give us a little bit of an edge. I don't know that we're, we're up to four now. Feels nice. How about a, I don't really want to give you a carrot. I would rather just give you some of this, keep you scaling, focus on the six inches in front of you. 
I'm gonna give you one of these. I'm gonna give you another broccoli as well. I know it might seem like we're, we're being a little crazy on this one. I just feel like if you're gonna take a seal for scaling purposes, you gotta pot commit. We're pretty much dead. Uh, literally, I, I, I was just about to say, we're pretty much dead as soon as we run into one hippo, huh? And, and lo and behold, the prophecy, the sacred text. Hold on though. Are we? Are we? The yes, we are. <laughs> All right, cool, a hippo, four wins. Let's run it back, let's try to find something. I guess what we're trying to find is either an early flying fish or a hippo. I think this squad can go okay. Let me be a, a perfect copycat. It's kind of a sinister expression, huh? Winnable? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so upset I got beaten by a pig. I didn't expect the early pig. Okay, three scaling on, on attack. That's something I like. Let's put anti-pig technology in the front. I'm all about the anti-moth technology. Forgot about the anti-pig technology. Have an ants? That's terrible luck. It's gotta hurt. It's gotta hurt a little bit. So we're at three HP. At least, at least we're not at... Or we're, sorry, we're at four. At least we're not at three. Give me my level and give me a flying fish. A snail. Also fine. We need to find something else to work with. I'm going to scale you. I know that this didn't really work for us last time. This squad's looking quite a lot like our last squad. I, don't get me wrong. I've noticed that as well. Right down to the, the silk moth that never manages to get off an HP uh, buff. Right down to the, uh, well, let's wait until we get a pita that does absolutely nothing for us, and then we can start to get salty. Okay. No salt. No salt. We gotta, we gotta win. I don't think gazelle is gonna be what we need it to be this time. We'll talk about this just for level purposes. Okay. We'll get our level next time. Let's not descend into bad habits. I'm just gonna equal out your stats a little bit there. An 1110 is... Not just an impossible to hit spare in bowling because the 11 pin doesn't exist. It's also pretty good stats for a unit at, at this stage of the game. The Silk Moth made a huge difference! It happened! Okay, okay. That's a really big unit for this stage of the game. We gotta respect that. A rooster. Sure. Or as uh, Alice in Chains would say, Yeah, I'll take the rooster. It does seem... Fine. I don't think we're pivoting the flying fish right now, but it does seem nice to have a, a rooster that could steal some buffs from our birds. Although really health is like at more of a premium, but whatever. We win these. Oh, we win these. I, it's been a while since I went on a heater in the mid game. It hasn't really happened this weekly. You should take this for certain. I think we should invest in broccoli on you. Just because, like, attack scaling, we already have going on anyway. Like, the attack scaling comes in the form of our birds. I would love it if they hit the rooster a little more as well. But that's, hey, it's a positive thing. We got multiple targets that are, that are all pretty good to hit. Garlic should go hard this week. Gotta start thinking that it's probably more effective for us to combine the birds and have something else in that back slot, like a toad or something. What a name, I just noticed. There's a new show on TLC you might be interested in. Well, we got our toad. I kind of like what that skunk did as well. You know what? With so many hippos around, we, we know for a fact that... Um, the, the skunk will blow out badly, like the way you blow out your underpants when you have norovirus. It'll blow out bad, maybe flare out is a better word. It'll flare out badly against um, summon teams that run flying fish. However, against big hippos, which have been extremely annoying to deal with, it should bring them back down to earth a little bit, especially if we can get some levels on it. Why not take your level next time? Just because you know you can get a tier 6 out of it. 
Not buying an apple, though. That's, that's just too far. Why don't you take a grape if you're sticking around? It's really hard for me to imagine that the garlic silk moth does a lot, but I also feel like we're, we're playing with the clock right now. We're a little bit up, so we're, we're buying things that might not be the best long-term in order to give us uh, more success short-term, which actually might be the right play if we can get wins. But I have been wrong a myriad occasions before. Either way, that's six wins. That feels crazy. Is this what dopamine feels like? Level me? It's like buying an apple. You're an extra faint trigger, which we don't really need. That's okay. If I'm being real with you, I feel like it's the right time to actually dump the Silk Moth. It's only giving, it's probably giving two HP a turn. Something like an octopus just being out there and maybe having a pineapple. Like, we, we want to get some XP on it, obviously, but... Can an octopus hard carry a build by itself if it scales? Probably not, but maybe with a little creativity. Maybe, maybe it snipes the opponent's shark and screws their whole team up. Maybe it kills their squad inside out and just completely justifies its existence, even if that was entirely based on luck. Beautiful. Um, why don't you just take this for now? Chocolate must go on the octopus. It's the highest yield unit. I really don't think anybody's worth any of this. I, I would rather use my rolls to try to get more chocolate, maybe. And I, if I'm being real with you, Maybe it's fine. We've lost to some skunks. I was going to say we don't need the skunk anymore, but it, it's enabled some surprise KOs for us. This time, this is more like what I expected. <laughs> this is pretty bad. We're getting run over. But I mean, we're going up against other seven win teams. We should expect them to be pretty strong at this point. It's still pretty early in the game to have a seven win team. So you take this. You take that. Why don't we do this for now? Level 2 Octopus, which is now a level 3 Octopus, insanely bullish. Uh, and we'll actually get a level 2 Skunk out of it as well, which is kind of nutso. And we still, even if we lose this round, we have 2 HP. Kind of crazy. Get some kills. Get some kills. Do something. Do something. Do something. Okay, get some kills. Thank you! What the heck? Why is your Octopus so freaking strong? Your, your Hippo so freaking strong! We won! We beat a big gorilla, panda, silk moth, hippo team? Hold on a second. I'm pogging. I feel like you still die in one hit, which is the scary part. I don't think snake is necessarily the right play, but it probably does more than this bluebird at this point. So let's, let's toss you out here. It just increases the chance, I guess, that at some point... We're going to weaken their strongest unit, and either the snake or the octopus will kill it, hopefully, without us having to do anything. What a shot. What a kill. What a shot. Ooh, what a shot. Ooh, what a shot. Ooh, what a shot. What a kill. Oh, my God. He's losing his mind. And I am reaping all the benefits. Why well, I'm loath to mess with this by putting like a, a stake on a skunk and moving them up. I would simply love to see a level two snake. That's that's a big one. And uh, I guess maybe at some point a level two rooster. Don't kill me. Okay, my snake died. That's unfortunate. But oh baby, it's not that unfortunate, is it? <laughs> I guess I should wait until I know before I answer. Oh baby, it's not that unfortunate. I don't believe it. A 10 piece. Very sensible octopus pivot. Probably like the lowest stats I've had for a 10 piece victory in a long time. That is a uh, that is not impressive stat wise, but what it did on the field was impressive. I will take that. Hope you've enjoyed the video. If you did click the like button, it helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. See ya.